Hey guys, this is Diego from LVN Studio. Welcome back to a new video tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you how to edit a B-roll using KineMaster. Let's roll the clip. Before we start, let me show you some behind the scenes clips. To create this B-roll, I made a script beforehand of all the shots I wanted to capture. I definitely recommend recording these videos in 120 frames per second so you can have flexibility to speed them up and get smooth results. During the editing process in the B-roll, you are mostly going to be using a lot of transitions that will connect the clip smoothly, the speed feature to accelerate some parts of the clip to make it look more interesting, and the pan and zoom feature to create nice effects. So let's get started. In the KineMaster app, let's create a new project in 16x9 ratio. Now let's click on media and in my case I put all the clips in an album named B-roll so I can easily find them and upload them to the timeline. So let's do that. Perfect. Now that we have the videos on the timeline, let's select the music we're going to use which will be Elegance and you can find it in the R&B section in the Asset Store. Since I have a vision of how I want the final video to look like, I already have in mind which transitions I wanted to use. For example, between these clips, since the camera is slowly moving forward, a zoom in transition will look really cool. So let's add it. Let's also reduce its duration time. Between these clips, since the second one comes in really fast and the toast comes out of the toaster, I thought a revealing transition with some flashing effects would be great. So that's why I will choose the light bath transition number 2 and reduce the timing to half a second. Now to transition to the next clip, since the current clip is moving up, this swipe down transition will look very smooth. Then I will choose a light blur transition to reveal the clip where we're putting the butter on the toast. And then, since this clip is moving forward, I think another zoom in transition will be great to show the last clip. And then this transition is in the acceleration pack which is one of my favorites. Perfect! Now we will make the video more interesting and we will also make it go with a bit of the music by changing the speed of some areas. Let's play the first part of the song. One, two, three, four. In this last beat number 5, where the music picks up, I want the toaster to hit the table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this clip right when it happens. And in number 3, I am going to cut it because that's where I want the clip to go faster. And finally, I'm going to change the speed of this clip to number 4. Let's see how it looks. Awesome! Then. I'm gonna trim this last part so the second clip also starts at the beat of the music. Excellent! Next, I will make this clip just a bit faster as well and cut it so it goes with a beat of the music. Let's see how it looks. Nice! Now that you get what I'm trying to do, Let's fast forward to the next and final topic, which is the pan and zoom feature. As you can see in this first clip, I move forward with the camera, but moving backwards in a faster way would have looked better in my opinion, and that can easily be adjusted. To do it, select the clip and go to the pan and zoom option. Then select the start position and pinch in with your fingers to make the zoom out effect. Let's see how it looks. That definitely makes a difference. And for this last little clip, I'm going to emphasize the zoom in by adjusting the end position and pinching in a little bit. Awesome. Now let's make some final adjustments to the rest of the video. In this case, for this clip, I'm just gonna zoom in in general to the start and end position so then you can only see inside the bag. So let's take a look. 
nice. And for this final final clip, I'm going to adjust the end position so it can zoom in towards the plate a little bit more. We are doing great guys. So let's do a little bit of final touches. Let's adjust the main settings of the main video by adding a fade in and fade out effect. Just like this. And finally, we're going to be doing a minor color grading in the adjustments feature by just adjusting a few of these um, items and we're going to apply it to all of the clips throughout the project. And that will be it guys, let's watch the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below what kind of tutorials you want to see in the future and thanks so much for watching, bye bye!